Welcome to a rainy Thanksgiving evening at Mad Anthony Field. My name is Anna Dodge. I'm joined by my co-host here, Miami. And we're grateful for you to join us tonight for this final regular season game for the U Ottawa Gigi's versus the Bishops Gators. Is it their final or it's their final on home field? On home field. Got it. They have two more games this season against ETS and Carlton, I believe. Um, but last regular season here at Matt Anthony. Let's start with some rosters. For your visiting team, the Bishops Gators, we have number one, Riley Jones. Number two, Will Perry, who's the captain. Number three, Greg McDowell. Number four, Bowden Stankovich. Number five, Dylan Driver. Number six, Jake Stevens. Number seven, Marshall Mather. Number eight, Jeremy Lavoie. Number nine, Owen McDonald. Number 10, Axel Montgomery. Number 11, Kaylin Abbott. Number 12, Ewan Lawton, who's the vice captain. Number 13, Josh Norby. Number 14, Sean Rose. And number 15, Ben Ree. And the head coach of the Gators is Nick Clappinson. And for your home team here. At number one, we got Connor Williams. Number two, Zach Auger. Three, Evan Roy. Four, Wade Marshall. Five, Logan Harris. Six, Ali Awada. Seven, Jacques Schwina. Eight, Yanem Zuzua. Nine, Louis Shields. Shields? Yep. Ten, Jamie Armstrong. Eleven, Aiden Gregoire. Twelve, Glenn Roy. Thirteen, Matt Robinson. Fourteen, Donovan Tran. And number 15, Gordy Evans. And uh, GG uh, uh, Bishops just kicked off here, and they are doing a line-out. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Still warm up. Looks like we'll go again here for a Gators line out. Five men go to the front ball, but it's deemed not straight by the ref. GG ball. GG's will have a choice, scrum or line out. Looks like they're gonna opt for a scrum here. Bit of a safer choice on a rainy evening than a line out. Past couple games, we've seen some Pretty big dominance from the GG scrum. Yeah, they have a pretty good uh, Evan Gordy here. Seems like he's changing his <laughs> cleats mid-game. <laughs> Not happy with the studs, so making a quick switch. <laughs> quick pit stop. Shields going to go short side. Still on his feet. Breaks a defender. Looks like Ali Awada is going to play scrum half out to E-Roy. Shields back to scrum half duties. Back to Armstrong, who's going to clear. Goes high but short. Just missed by the Gators nine and bounces back into Gigi's possession. Wade Marshall with the carry. Shields to Armstrong with the grubber to the to corner. Gregoire's going to receive in field. Beautiful catch by Gregoire. Yeah, great vision by Armstrong as well. Williams clears up a messy ball. Shields to Zazua, who's met really strongly by some Gators forwards. Short side again. Out to OJ, back in field to Williams. Nice bind by OJ to keep him in bounds. Ball just slips through Yenem Zazua's fingertips, and it's going to be a Gators ball. Seven is just going through a couple GGs here. Ball is going to go back to number 10, Montgomery. Very low kick. Fielded by Gordy Evans. Offloads, oh. misses Donovan Tran, and is knocked forward. It's quite a slippery ball out there today. Yeah, the Gigi's, I think, has not played in a rainy um, game yet this season. So this is a new one for them. Yeah, definitely got to find some different strategies here. So knock on by the GGs will be a Gators scrum. 
their first offensive scrum of the game. They have number nine, Owen McDonald, with the put in. Bishop's pushing the, the scrum. Wow, great drive by the Gators. Eight pick, beats the flank and the 10. Slippery. Offload, finds target. Out to number three, McDowell. Bishop still with ball possession, going left to right, back to right. Bit of piston action going here from the Gators. They look to go down the wing, but it's just bobbled out of their hands. It's going to be a GG scrum. You know, on a, a rainy day like today, I think winning the battle at the scrum is going to be huge for both of these teams. Yep. Both teams with a two and one record heading into this game. So pretty good matchup here. Yeah, could could mean uh, going or not going to nationals. Yeah. Shields, the put in. Straight back to Armstrong, who's gonna look to play. Good hands. Bald Robinson, who crashes. But it's stolen by the Gators. Not enough ruck security there by the GGs. They're gonna look to attack the wing. Glenn Roy takes him down. Ball goes out to Lavoie. Then to Montgomery. Just misses target again here, but recovered by the Gators. Quick, quick ball by number nine. Some good forward momentum here for Bishops. Just knocked out of the hands of number one, Riley Jones, but I'm not sure the ref caught that. So we're gonna keep playing. Huge hit coming in from, I think that was- Eroy. Eroy. And the GGs are rewarded. It's gonna be called a forward pass, I believe. Sorry, no, penalty against the Gators. Glenroy is gonna look for the sideline. He's had an amazing season thus far with his kicking. He's currently tied for first in the RCQ with 42 points. Ooh. Who's the other one? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we just know the GGs. <laughs> Congrats to whoever the other person <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's on the Bishop's team. Maybe. OJ with the throw in. Goes up to Harris. Gigi's set the platform for a mall, but it's taken down right away. Ball out to Wade Marshall. Drives for a couple yards. What a rock by the Gigi's. Jimmy Armstrong. Another hard line by Robinson. Bishops. Huge hit by Captain um, Will Perry on the scrum half. Some chaotic play here. Ali Awada with the ball. Pops out. Still GG ball. Jimmy Armstrong with a high kick. Gordy Evans will probably try and recover. And it's been popped off his chest. Bishop's ball. Riley Jones going for a quick pick and go here. Axel Montgomery with a little kick. Trying to trans hand, hands. Trying going for a little run. Ah, oh, unfortunate offload to a Bishop's uh, team player. 
Number nine for Bishops going quick, Mr. Mc McDonald. And there's been a penalty against the GGs. Bishop's ball. Montgomery looking for the touch, the sideline, and he finds it. GG's recover that ball very close to their end zone. Jamie Armstrong looking to exit, and he finds it. We have a special guest appearance today by Taylor Donato. Hello, Taylor. Uh, hello, Miami. Thanks <laughs> for having me. Dodge had to go uh, do something quickly, <laughs> so we have Donato filling in the spot. Donato, mm -hmm. welcome to the... It's very exciting. <laughs> I <you>. know. <laughs> <laughs> so Bishop's line out here with from number two, Will Perry, their captain. Hmm. What was that, not straight? Uh, looks like it. And, ha and a half arm. Oh, penalty. Nice. They're playing. They're pl yeah, that was uh, interesting. Oh. These Jamie. Little steps. Oh, oh, he's free. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie going for a run. Oh. Unfortunate pass. Gordy recovers. Oh. And Zuzua with the ball. Oh. Little wrap around. <laughs> As a nine, Donato, how would that feel? Mm. You know, sometimes you just got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that situation is a little messy, especially in a game like this. Yeah. Number nine from Bishops try to step Mr. Gregoire. Oh. A little clearing kick. Mm -hmm. Mr. Axel Montgomery. Oh, oh. offside. Hmm. Outside by the GGs. Yes. Axel Montgomery for the for the kick. And makes it. Bishops for the line out. <coughs> Ball is oh, in it's stolen. Beautiful. By the GGs. I believe that's Wade Marshall. That is Wade Marshall. Yep. Oh, nice little chip kick. Oh, that looks like that would be knocked forward. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, no. Oh, offside. Offside. Hey, that's <laughs> good too. <laughs> still our ball. <laughs> Sorry, still GG ball. <coughs> Glenn Roy finds touch, as per usual. Just a normal day at the office for Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> OJ with the throw in. Oh. Bishops. It looks like that was knocked forward by Bishops, maybe. Yeah. You're yeah, right. Tough day for those lineouts. Very wet. On a wet day, Donato, what do. Uh, Scrum halves do usually. Mm. Do they? Well, can be a 
struggle sometimes picking up the ball at the back of the rug. You don't want to knock it on. Mm-hmm. So, you know, maybe you got to play a bit tighter. Do you, tell your, do you tell your 10 to come closer? <laughs> yes, if, if necessary. Yeah. Especially in the beginning of the game, build when some confidence, and then maybe you can start stretching those passes a bit. Yeah. Let's get used to it. Gigi's going for the right side of the scrum, oh. Zuzua. Oh, little <laughs> Not sure what happened there <laughs> with Evan Roy. Big high kick by Jamie Armstrong. Covered by Bishops. Oh. Huge kick by number 10. Right. Straight into Gordy's arms. Maybe a little run by Gordy. Oh. Little step by Jamie Armstrong. That's another day in the office for him. <laughs> <laughs> little box kick by number 9. And almost oh. recovered by number 9. Yeah. Oh. Penalty offside by Bishops. Glenroy with the with the kick for touch. Oh, looks like it's staying, staying in. in. Bishop's ten, kick it back right into the hands of Gordy Evans, who kicks it right back. And straight, straight out. Up. But was he in his twenty two? I thought he was. The guys, uh, the Gigi's are saying that he was, but the coaches, sorry, the refs don't agree, so. Mm. Well, back to where he kicked it. That's tough. He was probably very close to me. Yeah. Oh, they changed their. Ah, nice. <laughs> changed their mind. All right, Bishop's line out. Perry with the ball. Oh, nice steal. Logan Harris. Oh. Hmm. Bishop's pretty good at getting their hands in the rucks. Is he just jackal the ball? Yep. <coughs> oh. Scrum, Bishop's. Yeah, I guess in a game like today, if the line outs aren't working out too well. You go Off for the, the scrums. scrums. Looks like it's been pretty even on both sides. Mm -hmm. Bishop's ball, number nine. Owen. Oh. oh. Huge. Huge scrum by the GGs. Connor Williams seems to love it. Yep. <laughs> he put in the work. He deserves that. He did. Man down, unfortunate. For Bishops. I don't know if it's a cramp. Yeah, I was just going to say. Oh, looks like he's... He's on it. Those calf cramps. <laughs> they get you. <ya. laughs> they get you. <ya. laughs> Shout out to Julia Latremouille for those. <laughs> <laughs> GG ball. Glenn Roy going to look for touch. Nice, makes it. Oh. Almost hits some of the <laughs> people watching. Mm -hmm. All right, Gigi's line out in Bishop's half. See what they do here. Oh, off. Bobbled. Oh. By Bishop's, therefore knocked on. Mm. So 
Gigi's from. Hey, it's a good position. Very. See some magic from the backs. This would be a good time to do it. Lewis Shields with a put in. Nice scrum for the GGs. Oh. Fortunate pass. Oh. Recovered though by the GGs. Number 14, Tran. All right, looking to play it safe here. Bishop's coming hard on defense. Mm hmm. They're really hitting the number nine. Yeah. Jamie Armstrong with the clear kick. Nice and high. Oh, knocked on. And oh, but they're playing. It seems like it. Oh. And that is straight out, but we might go back to the knock on. Yeah. yeah. GG Ball with a scrum. They've been doing good so far. Thought they have. <laughs> <laughs> As a nine, were you someone that uh, would be in the other nine's face, or you would just let them live? Mm. You know, I think for the most part, I'd just let them live. That's nice of you. You like, oh. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, the struggles of a rainy day. Oh, but it's a penalty against... The GGs. Unsure of what? Unsure of what. Fortunately, we're two backs here. <laughs> <laughs> Unfamiliar with scrum <laughs> penalties. <laughs> oh. Oh. Turn of events. <laughs> GGs penalty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Glenn Roy looking for touch. So for the the ones at home that don't understand rugby, he's looking for touch. Basically, what that means is he's looking to kick the ball down the field to make yardage and get closer to the try zone. Oh, great kick! Beautiful kick. Glenroy is back at the office. <laughs> <laughs> and now the GGs are in the twenty-two of bishops. Good um, scoring opportunity. Yep. Usually called oh, the green zone. Great line out. Recovered nicely by Logan Harris. Logan now Harris. Looks like a little mall situation. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hmm? Logan Harris's legs are just in the air. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice pick up again. Ali Awada with a good ball. Terry. Right, nine is digging for that. Oh, nice little grubber through by Jamie Armstrong. Recovered by Bishops, though. They probably oh. had the advantage. Yes. Penalty against bishops. And hmm. not entirely sure what the penalty was. Mm -hmm. If only we could hear out. the ref, eh? I know. <laughs> we're not wor we're not we're not World Cup yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put in a request. Have his mic with the other ear. Yeah. Give you the exact play by play. Glenroy again to look for touch to go down the down the road. All right. Gigi's line out very close to Bishop's try line here. Mm -hmm. Probably like seven, eight meters. Mm -hmm. Bishop's going to look to defend oh, this as. Great line out. Oh, Maul. Maul, yeah. Looked like Bishop's did not engage first. Bishop's. What? Doing. Gigi's. Are in. And try by the GGs. By number two, Zach Auger. <laughs> Pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially in games like this, forward set piece comes in. Big time. Because it's, it's where when the ball is like not, you know, sent 
mm-hmm. 45 yards away. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I was telling Dodge that today is the first game that the Gigi's play um, in the rain mm. this season. Definitely adds a layer of difficulty. Yeah. But they executed that line out perfectly there. Got to love the forwards for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> we can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> we just love them for yes, it. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Roy ro- looking to convert this, tr- this try. It's up. Mm. And it did not go through. GG's up. 5-0. 5-0 for the GGs. 16 minutes left in the half? Yep. Now, last week, the GGs played against Concordia. Unfortunate loss. Um, first one of the season. And uh, Bishops played Concordia, and Bishops beat Concordia. Oh, what was the score? I'm not sure. But thank you, Donato, for yes, uh, thank for, you for having me for being here, and maybe we'll see you again soon. Yeah, but, uh, this is fun. Thanks <laughs> for having me. Um, you know, maybe I'll be back. Yeah, see ya. Dodge is back. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Donut, for that extra special guest appearance. Yeah, Do- Donut used to play uh, the U Ottawa GGs. Is now an alumni. Played number nine with Dodge. She did. I played with her a little bit too. Hey. Uh, Gigi scored while you were gone. I saw that just as I was coming back. Shields with the ball. Gigi's still going forward. Back to Jamie. Jamie lo- seeing the gap. Oh, almost a half break there, yeah. but... Caught by the ankles, number three of the Gators. Shields with a kick. And uh, oh, <laughs> a bit of acrobatics on the <laughs> sideline there from <laughs> Donovan Tran. Bishop's ball. That'll be blown dead by the referee. Have some quick words with OJ, but unsure what the call is there. Axel Montgomery for the touch. Sorry, looking for the touch. <laughs> Finds it. Not a whole lot of yards on that kick there, but Gators line out just before the half. A little under 15 minutes to play in the first half here. It's a high and long ball. OJ finds it over the top. Nice clear out by Ali Awada. Armstrong. G. Roy out to Gregoire, into Gordy Evans. Does well to keep it in bounds. Whole slew of GGs over that ruck. Don't want to lose that ball. Ali Awada gets pushed back a little bit here by some Gators forwards. Wade trying his best to ruck over. Advantage to the GGs. Now the time to try something cool. <laughs> G. Roy. G. Roy going for a run. Ooh, offload. Oh, offload somehow finds the hands of Gordy Evans. That guy has reached, that's for sure. Yeah. Former second row. I'm sure yeah. he found that reach in the line out. Now yeah. he's at fullback. Finding it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huge run by E. Roy. Supported. Also huge tackle by the Gators. Yeah. Yenem Zuzua. Zuzua with a half break. Still on his feet. GGs are right there. Logan Harris, <gasps> touch it down. Touch it down. <laughs> <laughs> touch it down, Logan. Big try. That is 10 nothing for the GGs. Little under 13 to play. Yeah. Huge run, huge line break by Suzua. You know, in weather like weather conditions like these. Teams often look for hard runners from their forwards, and it seems like that's 
what the GGs are doing, and they're doing it well so far. Yeah. Glenn Roy will tee up for another convert. You know, we've talked a lot about it this season, but Glenn has just been so consistent from the tee. It's been really one of the highlights of the GG season, I think, so far. Yep. Except for his first one today, an unfortunate miss, but hopefully he gets, uh, he gets this one. Glenn Roy will convert the Logan Harris try. It's now 12 nothing for the GGs. Gators will kick off. <coughs> Alex Montgomery here for the kickoff. Not happy with the ball, I. I guess so. Gotta look to trade that one out. Probably with a better gripped ball. Alex Montgomery for the kickoff. Nice and deep into Gordy Evans' arms. Finds Jamie Armstrong and tries to kick it out of their territory. Massive kick by Jamie. And they're back midfield. Oh, Bishop's oh. going to go for the quick line out. <laughs> but it's met right away by Ali Awada. And a little kerfuffle there on the field. But uh, I guess they did not see Ali Awada coming in no. because that pass should have not been made. Yeah, a bit of an interesting decision to go quick on that one. I'm not sure what the call is for the stoppage. Ref's going to look to his sideline judge here. Not sure what they're talking about. You know, I think especially as a, a type five player, anytime you can see an opportunity to lay someone out <laughs> like that in, yeah. in open field is something you look forward to. Yeah. And Ali Awada certainly took a chance there, but looks like he might be penalized for it. I thought the hit might have been clean, but I'm no referee. Wish we could hear what they're saying. Maybe next year we'll get the refs <laughs> mic'd up. That's what I was telling Donato. <laughs> And it will be a yellow card to Ali Awada. So that means that now the GGs will be playing with 14 players instead of 15 for the next 10 minutes. So basically until the half is done and probably the first minute of the second half. Huge opportunity here for the Gators with great field positioning as well. And like we said earlier, you know, weather conditions like these are prime opportunity for your forwards. And now the Ottawa Gigi's are down one of their tight five players. But Gigi's recovered that um, line out from uh, originally Bishop's ball, but it is now Gigi's ball. Probably look for the clearance kick here from Armstrong. Zuzua clearing out that ruck like it's his day job. 
Huge kick again by Jamie Armstrong. Kick will go straight out of bounds, just outside the 22. It'll be a Gators line out again. Throw in by Captain Will Perry. Again recovered by the GGs. Wade Marshall is gonna have a couple huge stiff arms. And still on his feet, still going. Just now brought down. Ball's gonna go back to Armstrong with another clearance kick. It goes high for the Bishop's fullback, but it's bobbled right into the hands of Aiden Gregoire. Shields again is gonna go straight up. This one finds Ben Rhea better. Bishop's ball. Short side play to their winger. Ooh, number nine. Tough luck here for Gators number nine, Owen McDonald. It'll be a GG scrum on the five meter line, just about at half. Scrum uh, for the GGs. <coughs> Lots of kicking today. Uh, from the Gigi's, mostly. Yeah, I'd say they're they're usually a kicking team, but in conditions like these, you know, getting under a high ball is is tough work for a back three. So, as we saw a couple minutes ago, just off the chest of the Gators fullback, you know, good opportunities for the Gigi's, especially with kickers like Jamie Armstrong and Glenn Roy. Yeah, and they have really good chase chase. Wow, chasers as well. Yeah, we've seen great Aiden Gregoire put some pressure under the Gators' back three quite a few times now. Lewis Shields, Irishman, going to put in for the GGs. That's another huge Bishop scrum. Jamie Armstrong bobbled the ball. It's gone backwards, but GG's losing yards here. Still GG ball. Big high kick by Shields. It goes straight out of bounds, but doesn't seem to matter much. It only gained a couple of yards there anyways, but it is a turnover. It'll be a Gators line out. We'll see, they might go for a bit of a safer option here. They've had quite a few where they've tried to go to the back of the middle and it's just missed target and the GGs have been able to capitalize on that, so. Especially with Logan Harris back. That's a clean line out for the Gators. Going to go out to their backs. Nice tip line, but it's deemed forward by the referee. Be another GG scrum. They've done pretty well so far to, to kind of whenever they count down the minutes of this yellow card they have going. Oh, right. They are one player down. They are, but I, I haven't been able to tell in the past couple of minutes here. Me either. You just enlighten me. <laughs> <laughs> GGs have their players stacked to the right-hand side, but they're going to go to the left. Jamie Armstrong going to chip it. It's kicked forward by a number of players. <laughs> Bit of chaos here. And some, some quick exchanges by the two fly halves. Some friendly, some friendly exchanges, seems like. <laughs> All amicable, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yes. Just saying good job to one another. Both tens with scrum, half, scrum caps. Gators line out. Perry with the throw in. Chewy. Knocked for knocked by Chewy. Gigi's gonna look to swing it. Huge pass. Out to Robinson who takes it down. Shields misses Wade Marshall, but <laughs> goes right into the hands of Jack Chouinard. Straight back to Jamie Armstrong for the clearance kick. 
This one's high, but it's well fielded by the Gators' back three. And a good cover tackle by Donovan Tran. Bishop swinging it wide. Got a bit of space here if they can capitalize on it. Nice tackle by Gordy Evans. Good defense by Gigi's. Gigi's steal it, but we're going to go back to a previous penalty against the Gigi's. So oh. more amicable exchanges between the two teams. Got to be careful there. I'm it's early in the game for <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so much drama, so and they already have a yellow, a yellow card, card yet. Yeah. So ref has shown he's not afraid to go to his pocket. Um, not sure what's going on, but I think they're going back on a previous penalty. Montgomery finds touch for the line out. Bishop's going quick. Logan Harris with a steal. Jack Chouinard, I believe, with the ball in hand. Shields. Clearance kick here by Armstrong, fielded nicely by Montgomery. He's going to kick it straight back over the head of Armstrong, who's going to let it bounce into the end zone before touching it down. Number one, Riley Jones seems to think his team fielded it first, but <laughs> I believe the sideline ref has deemed it a goal line dropout for the GGs. Good run, though, by Bishops. Good try. <laughs> you know, we've seen Bishops go fast on a lot of these lineouts, but it hasn't really been working out for them well. No. GGs are ready and have pretty much stolen all of them. Yeah. GGs are set, whereas the Gators have been walking in and going quite quickly. And I'd be interested to see their success versus failure rate at this point. I'm sure that's something they'll talk about here at half. Stolen by Donovan Tran. GGs out to Eroy. Look to Jamie Armstrong for the clearance, but he's going to go just over the head of the defense. It's a Gigi's penalty, but we do have a player down, so time will be off. Although the time is off, neither team seems really <laughs> to be taking the opportunity to to talk things out, more <laughs> so just take a take a breath, I guess. Yeah. I mean it is gonna be half soon, so that's when all the talking is gonna be done. Bishops brought in a good crowd here. The half of the the bleachers are Bishops fans. Yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of players from the Ottawa area on this Bishop squad. Well, during this break, we'll give a quick shout out to our Gigi's women's soccer team who beat their crosstown rivals 3 nothing earlier today at Man Anthony. So congrats, ladies, for another big win. 
Do we know who scored for the GGs? I am not sure. Is it the the Miss Casprovol? Is her name? I know she scored one, and she had a assist as well, but couldn't catch the full game here. Girls on fire this year. Yep, former U Sports Player of the Year last year. Glenn Roy with a good kick down the down the line. Doesn't gain much yardage though. It'll be Gigi's line out, about five meters from half. They'll go up to Logan Harris, who has great reach. Find Wade Marshall again. He's done really well in open field off the line out. Gigi's gonna look and pick and go, probably just run out the clock here. They're still down a player, so looking mostly just to make it to half, I think. Still a couple more pick and goes. Chewy with the last pick and go before Armstrong finds the sideline. That'll be half here at Matt Anthony Field. 12 nothing for the GGs. And we will be back in 10 minutes.
Welcome back, guys. Second half has started. GG's kickoff. And GG's with the ball. Glenn Roy takes it to ground. Out to his younger brother, Evan Roy, who's going to gain a couple yards here. No changes on the GG side. Sh don't think. Uh, There's a couple on Bishops, I believe. I see number 25 out there. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a name. Get a name here. on that in a moment. Number 25, uh, Braden. Ozikowski. Apologize if the pronunciation is butchered on that. Uh, scrum for Bishops. Bishops in the first half were quite dominant in the scrum. Kind of blew the GGs up in a number of them. Yeah, but whenever the GGs had their scrum, um, it, they were also it, it pretty dominant. Yeah. Yeah. McDonald with the put in, but GGs are able to win the penalty. I believe that's for against Bishops for collapsing the scrum. Looks like the GGs might go for points here. Not something you like to see as a front row player. I know how painful those collapsed scrums can be sometimes. Tell me. Glenn Roy gonna tee up for the convert here. So far had two kicks for uh, the try conversion and is one for two. And for our non-rugby viewers, the ball is live if it does miss. So we'll have some GG's chasers here. It's up and it's through, which adds another three points for the GG's. 15 nothing, three minutes into the second half. And the great thing about a penalty kick is you get the ball back in your possession. So GG's will receive here from Axel Montgomery. Ball goes long. Gordy Evans gonna find it. Back to Jamie Armstrong for the clearance. Finds a nice little spot there. In the Bermuda Triangle of the of the Bishops. Bishops back three. The Bishops Triangle. Not sure if that was in their own half, but this could be a 50-22 from the Gators. It is. Excellent kick there. Bishop's trying to go quick, but the ref is slowing things down here. Another five-person line out for the Gators. But the jump is off. And so the ref is going to call it not straight. The GGs will have the option of a line out or a scrum. Going to opt for the more safe option of the scrum here in their, in their red zone. Okay, we're probably going to kick it out of the red zone as soon as he can. So, Miami, tell me what you think is needed from both teams here in the second half. Hmm. That's a great question, Dodge. Um, what do they need? For Bishops, probably a little bit more connection. Um as they have not like broken any line or went up for a huge uh, a huge run. They've been going quickly though. Um and I think this is the first time it works for them. Oh. And great play there by yeah. the number 12, Kaylin Abbott. They're going to keep going flow side. 
but it's a huge hit by Ali Awada, who's back in the game after 10 minutes in the sin bin. He's making himself, his presence known on the field. Some great rugby here oh, from the Gators. That's pass. a great. Oh. That was a massive hit. By that was a big hit by Lewis Shields. But still, great momentum here coming from the Gators. That's They're going to go needed. back to Axel Montgomery, but it just misses the hands. Oh. Lots of bobbly action. It's going to be advantage to the Gators for the knock on by Robinson, so they're going to look to play it. Logan Harris looking to hold them up, but player goes to ground. Montgomery's going to swing it out wide, but Chewy managed to intercept it. We're but going to go back to the previous knock on. You know, that's the thing about playing fast is sometimes it can be a bit chaotic, but in these past couple phases, they're able to make some sense out of the chaos here. Yep. The Gators have. Seems like their connection is uh, is on. Mm -hmm. <coughs> see another Gator scrum here, although they're pretty dominant in the first half. We did just see a GG's penalty at the scrum. Owen McDonald with the put in. He's going to go back to Montgomery. Ball out back and the tip line to their 13, but it's too hot to handle and knocked on. It'll be a GG scrum. We've been in the, the Gigi's red zone for the past five minutes, so I'm sure they really want to get out of this uh, this area at the moment. But Bishops, you know, they want to score their first try and put some uh, some points on the board. Yeah, and they've certainly come out this second half with a bit more fire, it seems like. Um, Ali Awada looks like he's going to come off the field. Replaced by Mr. Billows, who was uh, injured during a um, summer game. His hamstrings, I believe. And uh, this is his first game back as a Gigi this season. Yeah, on the roster the past two weeks, I believe. But good to see him in the garnet and gray. Clearance kick by Armstrong goes high and over the head of the 14, but fielded nicely by fullback Ben Ree. Ball goes straight out of bounds, so it'll go back to the place where it was kicked from. It'll be a GG's ball, finally making them their way out of their own half. Probably a huge relief for them as well. Yeah, did well to kind of... Sorry. Went too fast for the ref. Don't think the ref was set there. So GGs are going to get another opportunity here, which is good because that line out <laughs> was. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get second tries, but yeah. when the ref's not ready. Five person line out here for the Gs. Probably go up to Logan Harris, who's their preferred target, and they do. Shields to Armstrong. He's going to take the line back inside to Connor Billow. He's doing, uh, doing what he does. <laughs> Got a couple yards as well. Glenn Roy. A couple bounce passes here, but Gigi's maintained possession. Just knocked forward by Donovan Tran. So it will be advantage to the Gators. And a little curveball. Big there. hit there coming from Connor Williams. We'll go back to the knock-on. Unfortunate kerfuffle against uh, Glenn Roy and a Bishop's player. So instead of a knock-on, it'll be a penalty against the Gators. Seems like the Gator would not let go of Glenn Roy. G 
Jibroy going to look to gain some yardage here with a kick. Doesn't look like that's going to make touch, so Montgomery's going to have the opportunity to kick back to the G's. That one's going to go straight out of bounds, but it was within the, their 22, so it's Gigi's line out just about where Glenn kicked it from, so <laughs> total net gainage of about zero yards. Yeah. OJ, the throw in. Harris, ball is swung back into the hands of OJ. Some fancy feet by Armstrong to Marshall, out to Robinson, who gets tackled well behind the gain line. Huge clear out for Bishops. But Jamie Armstrong with some great work off the ball to get set in position to kick. Number nine finally catches the ball. Bit of a grubber through for the Gators. It's Gigi's line out, but deep in their red zone here. Bishop's definitely looking to score right now. Pretty threatening position to be in, you know, on a rainy day with a line out. We saw that last one manage to find the hands of OJ, but Not always the case here. Have a player down for the Gators, so take some time off to make sure he's okay. Looks like we might have a couple of substitutions here. I believe that may be James Blacker coming in for the GGs soon. He's got his penny off. And a couple of Gators getting warm on the sideline as well. Believe that's front row substitute. Alex Richard. We'll see when we see his number here. Seventeen. Yeah, Alex Richard. OJ with a throw in. Harris. Clean line out. Shields to Armstrong for clearance. Big it's kick. a nice kick down the sideline over the head of Montgomery and bounces out of bounds at the halfway mark. Brennan Priest with the throw in, but it's stolen by Jack Chouinard. Big stealer, that guy. He's been Pickpocketing the Gators. <laughs> Yenem Zazua going to take it to the line. Managed to gain a few yards. Shields, ball out back to Armstrong for the high ball. Montgomery oh, just manages to keep it in his hands. Armstrong again. Shorter kick, well placed to bounce out of bounds. Bishop's line out. You know, although it is a Bishop's line out. The Gigi's certainly won that territory battle. Yeah. Bishop's going fast to Up their to advantage. Up to number four, Bowden Stankovic. Making some yardage. Yeah, good gain there from the Gators. Some alliteration right there. <laughs> Montgomery. Sh finds Shields with some fancy feet. Makes it to half. Jamie Armstrong going to play scrum half out to Zazua, who's taken down behind the gain line. Shields to Billow. Gigi's going backwards here a bit. Yeah, Bishop's doing a great job on defense. But seems like they've been uh, offside, so it's going to be a penalty against the Gators. Again, Glenn Roy will look for the sideline. GGs have done really well in spite of the weather at the line out. Yep. Even when they kind of miss their target, they've still managed to maintain possession. GGs line out just outside their 22. <coughs> Up 
up to Harris again over the top and picked up by a Gator. That's number six, Jake Stevens. Going to go short side here, step out of a tackle. Only Gordy Evans back right now for the GGs. But a bit of a, a fumble by the Gators. Montgomery over the head of the GGs and manages to retain his own ball. Good offense here by the Bishop Gators. Still going forward. Ball out to Marshall Mather. Montgomery tries to grubber it through, but Yenem Zazua blocks it. Blocks it. Montgomery again. I think he's kicked it about seven times within this sequence. Ball's going to go back to the penalty here against the GGs for offside. Very big kicking game today. Looks like the Gators are going to go for goal here, try and get their first points of the game. I like that decision. Dodge approves. Dodge approved. Dodge stamped. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Bit of an interesting uh, T set up here. One that I don't know if I've seen before. But hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> the kicking positioning is always uh, a funny one because everyone yeah. has a, a different style. Kick is up. And it's good. Gators find their first points of the game. It's now a... 15-3 game for the G's. Glenn Roy is going to assume drop kicking duties here. Kick back to the Gators. Pretty fair contest so far this second half. Yep. You can see why both of these teams are 2-1 and one in their season. Do we know who Bishops lost to? They lost to ETS. Oh, ETS. Uh, Who also uh, beat McGill. E so a lot of teams in contention for playoffs here on the men's side of the RSQ. ETS is the only one that hasn't lost to any teams yet, I feel, this uh, this year. You feel? I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> not facts, just feelings. <laughs> no, I did not fact check that. I just know. Gordy Evans going to kick back to the Gators. Chase his own kick. And a diving tackle, but Yenem Zazua is there to cover. Good work rate by Gordy Evans to get back in position for the receiving. A Gator's going to take it down the sideline. Good cover tackle by Donovan Tran. That's number 12, Ewan Lawton. Bishop's going uh, right side again. And ball is Gigi's ball. Stats wise, I feel like if we were looking at ball possession during this game, Gigi's has been uh, holding on to the ball um, probably 75% of the time. Really? I, I don't know if I agree with that. Okay, 60. <laughs> 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 I just I just feel like they've been on offense mostly and the Bishops uh, just on defense a lot of the time. That's true, I guess. Oh, oh, huge hit. I think that was Josh Norby on Glenn Roy. Ball popped out and it's going to be a Gators ball here. A huge run here. By number three. three. Forward on the loose. Some great momentum here for the Gators. Ball out back to Montgomery. He's going to chip it over the defensive line, and his winger is going to pick it up, but is not able to retain it. GGs will have a line out just inside their 22. 
that would have been a crazy try if that uh, if the winger went through a. I think there's some really like glimpses of really great rugby here by Bishops, but it is a bit on the risky end, and they've had a bit of trouble, um, you know, finishing with those attempts. But still, some really good rugby. It might just be, you know, the rain, the rain, and the weather contributing to their success rate here. Yeah, especially with the rain that uh, just came back. Yeah, we yeah. said rain, and <laughs> the gods <laughs> delivered because it's now <laughs> pouring here at Matt Anthony. Lewis Shields gonna put the ball in. OJ to hook it back. Out to their 10, Jamie Armstrong, who's going to clear it. Almost. Oh, huge <laughs> hit by Yenam <laughs> Zazua. That one hurt me. Dodge is feeling the hit. <laughs> Some more fast play here by the Gators. Brennan Priest going to take it in. Ooh, and a bit of a nine. scoop by the number nine. But he's met by his opposite, Lewis Shields. Still good momentum here coming from the Gators. Sneaky little nines. Montgomery. Just misses his target in OJ's Greg off. McDowell. With the ball, Gigi's ball. Evan Roy slowing things down for the GGs a bit. Jamie Armstrong shakes off one tackle before goes to ground. Wade Marshall, good carry. He's a player who's had a lot of growth over the past season. Glenn Roy with a nice run here. Still on his feet. Beat about four defenders there. Armstrong over the defense. Montgomery is there to to cover, but immediately taken down by the GGs. Tackle by Connor Williams. Box McDonald kick. with the box kick. It goes high and short. But Sh Shields is going to try and field it. It's just knocked backwards. So Gigi's will retain the ball. C. Wills takes it to the gain line. Oh. Oh. Unfortunate. Ball is off target, and the Gators capitalize off of it. Gigi's doing an incredible job on defense. Uh, I guess Bishop's coming in hard. Yeah, but... I mean, they've pretty much been able to to keep bishops in this about 20-meter area for most of the half. Looks like they might try and go for points here again. And there's a couple new players coming in, number 20. Number 20, Trenton Corrigan. And they will go for points again. That's Ben Ree. GGs have held them off really well here, like we said. You know, they, they've they broken the 22 a couple times, but without success finding the try line. Yep. So good decision here to go and try and chip away at that lead a bit. Ben Ree. Off target this time. Ball's going to bounce out the back of the end zone, so it's going to be a 22 for the GGs. Sixteen minutes left here in the second half. 15-3 for the GGs. Unlike a, a drop, a uh, goal line dropout, Players can be right on the 22 to try and block, but Glenroy is able to 
huge kick by uh, Montgomery. Oh, a bit of contact in the air, but it comes out the Gigi's way. <laughs> Chewy, gonna take it to deck. Uh, ball comes out, unfortunately, for the. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Gigi's ball. <coughs> uh, playing it in the ruck, I believe, or playing it on the ground. Just can't see the ref. He uh, looks like the Gigi's. Yeah. <laughs> Gigi's usually sport their garnet at the home, but wearing their gray and garnet today. Yeah, spicing it up. Keep us on our toes, I guess. Yeah. What will they wear next game? Gigi's line out. Up to Chewy. Shields. Back to Armstrong with a high kick. Montgomery's under it. He's going to kick it right back. Ball's going to go out of bounds about 15 meters into the Gigi's half. You know what? I appreciate a winger that runs like that for a ball that's gone out of bounds as yes. a hooker. Yes. <laughs> So hats off to the Bishop's winger there. Logan Harris is going to steal the ball there. Ball goes out to Connor Billow, but he's taken down right away. Oh. Penalty against the Gators. Hands on the ground, as depicted by the ref. Ref's going to have a word here with the Gators captain. It's been a couple of uh, penalties in a row, I'm not sure. I didn't know if they were the for the same offense, but still quite a few in a row. Good chat. Glenn Roy, with the kick. Good yardage gain here. GG's are about 10 meters into the Gators' half. Ball goes over the head of Logan Harris to a Gator who's taken down by Connor Billow. Montgomery going to spin the ball out to Reed. 15. <coughs> Bishops. Nice hard run here by Marshall Mather. Oh, huge hit by Eroy. Huge jackal by Chewy. He deserves a donut for that one. Definitely deserves a donut for that one. Being so lean, you deserve a treat, sir. <laughs> Glad I didn't make you laugh so much. <laughs> We're not within the crowds today. That's why you can't hear lots of the music and the crowd going, so... But despite the rain, there is quite the crowd here. Like we said, lots of Bishops fans here as well. Again, over the head of Logan Harris and into the hands of a Ma Gator. Mathers, is that Mathers? Um, no, that's number 23, Hunter Doucette. So he's a, just came on probably. I believe so. Bishops looking to score here, going for a little run. Threatening down the, the right side wing there. Logan Harris going to use his boot and go for the jackal. And he gets it, and then Bishops gets it back. What a <laughs> crazy turn of events. <laughs> Everything is going so fast. Montgomery. 
fielded by Gordy Evans, who looks like he's going to run it. Oh. oh. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Ball mishandling. Lots of back and forth in terms of possession here. Whether it's kicks or dropped balls, missed passes. In this case, it's going to be a knock on by the GGs. So it's going to be a Bishop scrum. It's been a couple minutes since we've seen a scrum. Oh, we've seen lots of line outs. We have. We also see a new scrum half here for the Gators. That's number 20, question mark. <laughs> Can't see his thing yet, but new person coming in for Zach Auger is, uh, I think, Matteo Carpena for the GGs. Good shift by Auger. Big shift by Auger. As always. Great drive by the GGs. Ball's going to... Oh, no whistle. Oh, I thought the ref had whistled there, but <laughs> play on, I guess. Jamie Armstrong with his kick and Bishop's recover. Montgomery. Ball going. back to Montgomery. Another great kick. Donovan Tran under it. Goes backwards. Lewis Shields. Huge, high kick. And then a nice tackle to match it. Lewis Shields has had a great game so far. Lewis Shields originally from Ireland, is he? He is. Slow ball here for Bishops. Look to set up a bit of a platform probably before Montgomery looks to clear. Oh, a little bobble here by the Bishops. And Gigi's are going to go Chewy, chewy with a little run. Dangles. Oh, my God. One, two, step, score. Oh. <laughs> 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 Beautiful run by Mr. Chewy. Jack Schwinar, as we call him. Great run. Capitalizing off the Bishop's error there. And steps on the guy. Definitely yeah. fooled five bishops player. I've n I don't think I've ever seen Chewy loose in space like that. And <laughs> He's a threat, let me tell <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Glenn Roy going to tee up for another convert here. He'll put another couple of points on his name. He's already tied for number one in the RSQ, like we said earlier. Yeah, we'll uh, do our due diligence for next game. <laughs> Glenn, and it's through. Glenn is good. So Jack Chouinard try is going to be converted by Glenn Roy. GGs are going to be up 22-3 to three with seven minutes to play. And uh, the big boys, Evan and C. Wills, are coming off after a massive shift today and uh, getting replaced by... That would be Lucas Dingwall and Sean Beryurikov. And someone else is coming off. Now James Blacker is coming in. He warmed up a lot <laughs> earlier, but he's ready. Ready to put in some minutes for the GGs. Oh. Huge hit on Matt Robinson, but ref does not like it. Sometimes, you know, catching a high ball can have his uh, pros and cons, and especially when you're trying to tackle the person that's going to get yeah, the ball. Yeah, I don't know if the ref is saying that uh, Matt Robinson was in the air when he was hit. That would be my best guess because it was a, a low tackle. To me, it looked more like he was his knee was just in the air uh, yeah. while he was tackling. 
there was going to be a penalty awarded to the GGs against the Gators, but no card given. Um, number 19 for GGs. Ryan Plunkett has also entered the game. For Jack Schwinar, I believe. Glenn Roy is going to find touch. We'll see our first GG's line out with all these substitutions in the forward pack. We still have uh, Logan Harris and Yenem Zuzua who are a big part of that line out. But first throw in for Mateo Capriña. And defended well by the Gators. And a great pass by number 17. They're going to attack the wing. Good run by Bishops. Montgomery is going to find number 18, I believe. Bishop slowly gaining some yardage here. That's a good run by Hunter Doucet. Ball out to Montgomery again. He's got a, a half break before going down. Pass by Ree is just off target. It's going to be... Ref calls it a knock-on by Bishop's Gigi's ball. Going to be advantage here for them. A high box kick by Shields. Fielded immediately by Ree and then Ooh. blocked by Shields again. Going for He's a chasing huge it run. down. Bit of soccer. Montgomery's going to have to kick it because he brought it into his own end zone. That gets the heart pumping for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Said it before, but Lewis Shields is having a game today. It's going to be a Gigi's line out. In Bishop's territory. And it goes straight, almost looked like a Bishop's line out <laughs> there. It went straight to their jumper. Montgomery's going to find touch, but not find many yards. Looks like almost a repeat of what just happened. <laughs> line out for the GGs deep in the Bishop's territory. Going to have to make some adjustments here since this new group has come on. Little success for the GGs at the line out. I mean, it's hard to come in, and everyone has had their connection, and now you're just you're just new and trying to figure it out, especially with five minutes left. And they in the do game. find it. They're gonna maul, but it looks like it's taken down right away. Uh, Advantages to the GGs. Yeah. She's going quickly. Going quickly. Connor Billow's going to pass to Plunkett, I believe. Gigi's going to look to pick and go. And there we go. Gigi's are going to score their fourth try of the game by Plunkett. Great impact by the Gigi subs here. Looks like Captain Jamie Armstrong is going to take the boot on this one. Don't know if Glenn Roy is off. Doesn't seem like he is. Yeah, and I think that's Ben Hollihan's going to come in the Garnet and Gray for his first time in the RSQ, I believe. First year player. G 
Jamie Armstrong with the kick. And he makes it. We're also going to see Gordy Evans come off with Alex Lafleur coming in. Probably only a handful of minutes left here. Says less than one on the scoreboard, but ultimately the ref's clock is the one that matters. Montgomery with the ball. Gator's going to move some players over to his right-hand side, but ball's still going to go to the left. Hollihan's going to get under it. Finding some space. Good run for his first touch. Kerpinha with the pick. Looking for an offload. Probably look to just play the clock out here with some pick and goes before finding touch. And the game on the G on Gigi's time. Back to Armstrong, who's gonna kick. Gregoire. Oh, just knocked into touch by Montgomery. It'll be a Gigi's line out. Still have time to play it, I believe. All right, it's going to be a scrum. They're going to play the initial knock-on. Well, Miami, with only probably one more play in the game, tell me who was one of your standouts of the game. Uh, for Gigi's, definitely I got two in mind. I got Shields and Chewy. They put in such a good shift today. Uh, Chewy on defense, just killing it, and then uh, in uh, the lineouts, and well, Shields just <laughs> just a great nine today, moving yeah. the ball left, right, and center, and kicking, chasing, just everything, doing the works, working off the ball. Yeah, I totally agree. And then have to hand it to Montgomery; he's had some some great plays here. It's gonna be a card here. Sorry for the. Number Bishop's eight. number eight. That's Jeremy Lavoie. Kind of missed it as we were rambling on. <laughs> Not sure if there's any time left on the clock. I'm sure that's what Jamie Armstrong's asking. This so he's going to play it and then kick it out to end the game. And your final score here at Man Matt Anthony is 29 for the U Ottawa GGs to three for the Bishop's Gators. Yeah. Now they're probably going to enjoy some turkey. Maybe tomorrow. Some gravy. Some gravy, some stuffing. But I'm um, sure they'll enjoy beer tonight first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, look forward to hopefully seeing you guys again in the postseason. Oh yeah. Until S then. Always a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>